So, just defeated Barry, so what we got to do is now go and catch the Zubat that we said we were going to catch in the last episode. Now, I've done a little bit of uh, looking online, so rather than going in the grass at night, we can actually go up here to Route 204 and go to the Ravaged Cave and try and get a Zubat from in here. Or Ravaged Pass, sorry, should I say. So hopefully, one should appear right now. Excellent, there we go. So, we'll just get the first Zubat we encounter, get it up to the Golbat, and then go for a Crowbat. So, let us get this down. So, let's just tackle it for now and hope we don't kill it. Should be enough. Uh, so, let's throw a Pokeball at it. So what we should we do now? So we've got Zubat, so let's call him. Let's uh, think of a name. Uh, what's a good bat name? Oh, Batman. How about Batman? Well, we need to go along the lines of Twiggy. So we should we call him? Should we call him Wings? Or when he voted to a Crowbat, if we call him Copter? Yeah, let's call him Copter. And we can be like, helicopter, helicopter. Copter! So, right. Let's see where we have to go now. So, now we've got Copter. Let us go and heal up quick. Because we may need to do a little bit of training. But you know what? I will do the training uh, off camera. That is the wrong path. Actually, we're going here anyway. So what I do is I do a bit of training off camera and just go up like a couple of levels with uh, Zuba after this episode. So let's just have a look. Buy. You know what? We don't have any antidotes and we don't have any. Uh, so let's just buy one of each. Because I have a feeling that what's the first gym? So it is the Orberg City Gym, which is rock. So that's not too bad. Rock Gym, what have we got to take down that? Um, what? Leafage? Twiggy? That's fine, right. Good morning, welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your Pokemon to full health. Would you like to restore your Pokemon? Yes, I would. That'd be very nice. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. That's fine. So, um, obviously, after the last episode being 40 minutes, um, I had someone reach out and just uh, and say they would like kind of can we give maybe 15 to 20 minute uh, episodes ago so that's what we're going to do just so they can so everyone can jump in and jump back out as they see fit so we will do that now we will go and uh, let me that's a battle so let me just put a uh, copter out and obviously I want to swap with the only other one on my team so let's just battle little. What's his name going to be? Uh, Colin. Little little trainer Colin. Dallas. Top. What level could cop to do it? Seven versus six. I don't think I have anything. I have absorb. Just keep absorb. Just run faster. Oh, okay. I don't know why I thought that would work against the bug. Oh, I might be in trouble. Okay, so it's not very effective. That's fine. So, if we just bring out Twiggy, and then just kind of get rid of this train, and then Zubat should... Well, I should say Zubat. Copter will gain a little bit of experience anyway, so... I'll make this a quick one. Um, I'm pretty sure I evolved into Grottle soon. Is it 14? Is it 16 with grass? I can't remember. So, I don't know why I went to use leafage then, it's not going to be very effective. So if we just go with the old tackle. So. That's fine. Your attack can fail, Twiggy. I'm going to tackle this. Go through. So, what is the next objective? So, the next step in this episode, so what we do is we go find Barry, 
again because I'm guessing he's in the other city. And then we'll see what we need to do from there. So you can use struggle bug all you like. Maybe super effective in a critical hit, but you still only did about four damage. Hit the quicker toss because you are level seven. I'm level twelve. That's never gonna work, is it? Ooh! Quick claw. Quicker toss fainted. Have you got any more Pokemon? I didn't actually look. Youngster Dallas has been defeated. What are we going to get? 384. 392! That's not too bad. That is not bad at all. I don't know. Right, what have we got here? Starly. Get a cop to do it. What level is this Starly? Four. Copter should be able to do this. Um, actually, I'll change my mind. I don't have any moves that would work against a Starly. This isn't it a normal flying type, so yeah, Astonish is going to have no effect on it whatsoever, which is always a downfall in our side. We don't really like, you know, move Pokemon that we can't really do anything against. But that is fine, so we have tackle. I just noticed that we now have Pokemon with two grass moves, so we may need to uh, get another Pokemon in the next area. Go, I don't know if it's a big cave we've got to go for next, I can't quite remember. What we'll do is we'll have a little look, go back, see if we need to heal. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure that he uh, he attacks us, so... Um, actually, you know what, we've got potions, we'll just use a potion, we should be okay. Uh, and, uh, I'd say we're okay. Oh looky there, you got a Pokedex. You're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good. Your fellow friend of Pokemon, so let me make gift of these technical machines to you. Ooh, TM98. Which one's that? Rock Smash. Okay. Hidden moves that. Use Rock Smash from your Pokedex in a wild Pokemon will get rid of the boulders in your path. If you use this hidden move in a field, you'll first need the gym back from Orberg City. Okay. Let me get another Zuba. Yeah. Can the cop to do it or not yet? Absorb, eh? It's just going to be an absorb battle, isn't it? Okay, yeah, so I might, what I'm going to do, I'll just run from this one, because I know there's some trainers coming up. So we will defeat the trainers, go into Orberg City. Oh, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to mine soon. That'd be quite cool, we could spend an episode in the underground and see what we get. Camper Curtis, what have you got, Camper Curtis? Shinx, eh? Ooh, no Thundershock, that might be a bit of an issue. Digress anyway. Let's have level 8 or something like that. 7. Oh. Okay, so you know what? I will battle with Copter and see what we can do. If I just keep absorbing it, surely we should win, right? Is it a health thing? I mean, I got 1 HP back and Shinx lost 1 HP. No, that's not going to work. Twiggy, out you come. Maybe to swap Twiggy and Copter over just so Twiggy comes out first. Otherwise, uh, Twiggy's going to be taking some battering when I keep having to bring him out. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, I'll use Tackle once to kill it. Use Leafage. Thundershock. See, that's why I didn't keep Copter out. Because if you use Thundershock on me, then I would have been in trouble. I would have been in right trouble with the Thundershock. Potentially good way, would at least half help me. I remember when I first played through this on my other account that I um I just thought like, I kinda went around the outside of the trainers and went back in again. And then uh Yeah, I just didn't uh 
Valum, and then I came through with um, Excited Infernape on my other playthrough. So then I came back with like a level 60 Infernape and just, um, yeah, wiped the floor with it. I don't know why I went back through this cave rather than just flying or surfing. I had, I, I think I was looking for, uh, I was looking for something but I couldn't quite remember where it was. Surely we should be able to defeat the body. It's not going to be very effective. No, it's not going to be very effective. With the absorb, so I've just got astonished. You know what? If I supersonic it and confuse it, it should attack itself a couple of times, which would be very helpful to us. What's he eating now? Oh, I thought he'd eaten a berry. I thought that was a bit early to be eating a berry, don't you think? God, Zubat's like a mate. I've just noticed how much of a maniac Zubat is. Unable to move, and you are confused, so come on. I want a solo XP on Copter. This is game to level 8. Yes, hurt yourself on confusion. That's what we like. Astonish. Yeah, Copter did it. Defeat his first Pokemon, it was a Badoop. I just shared XP again. I still got about that. Um, I will actually... You know what, I will keep a current Pokemon because I can use Absorb on the Psyduck. So, if I, yeah, if I just use Absorb on it... Should be super effective, hit it. Yes, look at that, see? Super effective, gain some health back. If we just keep absorbing it over and over again, we should get good health, unless the paralysis kicks in. So. Energy drain, that's fine, because that was me. Do you scratch? Okay, so I am losing a little bit more health than I am draining. I've like, got one each time. Water gun. Okay, so that was four, so I should go up to 11 health now. So I seem to be gaining three each time. Ten, so I only got two that time. Oh. Okay, one more resolve should do the trick. You scratch. I love that, I've got six HP left and I'm still in the amber. Okay, so game one, energy drain, side up fainted, thank you very much. Trainer defeated. Go to the Orbo City Gym. Well, I guess uh, losing to something to commemorate to 380 for winning. Thank you very much. Another one. Orberg City. Oh, hello, little trainer. Howdy, trainer. You don't have a single gym badge. Other trainers will look down on you like you're a total noob, right? Okay, I'll show you where our town's gym is. Thank you very much. And there's Barry. Is that guy in front of Jim your friend? He's sort of twitchy and impatient. Uh, yeah, that's my... Uh... Huh? That was you, Callum. You finally got here. You're slow to call, boys. You're so slow, the gym leader's long gone now. He said he had to go to, uh, yeah, the uh, Orberg Mine. I got my badge already, so no big deal to me, but... I told you the gym leader isn't here. If you want to challenge the gym leader, you better go down to the mine and ask him. But wow, the gym leader is in a different class of toughness. Even I'm feeling run down. I 
thought we were still talking to, but apparently not. It's just me being a right. Pokemon Center is what we need first. Pokemon for a few seconds. Thank you very much. So what we'll do is we'll go get the gym leader back in the gym. I will do a tiny bit of training off camera. And then next episode we will go and face the gym leader, our first gym leader. I'll only go a couple of levels off camera just to see what we um, what we need because I'm pretty sure he's got a couple of Pokemon that are like level 13, 14. So what I'll do is I'll get them both to level 15 and then we will um, go and fight him and see how we do. I mean we might lose, we might win, depending. But uh, yeah, hopefully Twiggy, hopefully Twiggy doesn't evolve. But if he does, evolve, if he does try and evolve, what I'll do is I cancel it, and then we'll level up once on the next video, and then we can watch Twiggy evolve. Hidden move rock smash to get rid of boulders in your way. Fallen boulders can be smashed so they're out of the way. You can get a gym badge from the gym in town. You'd be able to do this. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader. That'll be me. And he's gone. I've got an encounter. Okay, so wild geodude, come on, copter. Battle absorb. Super effective. See, that is why we have two grass type moves and two different Pokemon. To make it a bit easier for ourselves. I mean, your speed can raise as much as you like. I mean, don't just sit there and defense curl on me, because I'm not... It's going to take so long. We definitely don't want to do that, so your defense rose. I'm going to use them, so I'm just going to keep absorbing Geodude until you're... Uh, until you're down in the gutter, I'm afraid, my friend. Do you reckon in a rock polish he gets that little rat, little, little cloth which like, polishes the top of his head? That would definitely be uh, interesting. Imagine just walking down the street and seeing a Geodude, he's just like polishing himself. I reckon he could get like a mirror effect. Oh, look at that. Level 8. Okay, so hopefully now. So I'm pretty sure, is it this guy is a trainer? Is it this one? There we go. Worker Mason, have you got a matchup, haven't you? Yeah. Helicopter, helicopter. Come on, copter. So what we do is we're just going to absorb again. Revenge. Uh -oh. Okay, so I believe that we're going to need to switch the Twiggy to this one. Because I do believe that uh, copter may have a little bit of trouble with this. Just tackle. It's level 9. It's quite a our strongest Pokemon we face so far. But it's the strongest Pokemon you face, and then you get to the gym later, and he's like, Oh, I'm level 12 and 13, and you're like, Oh no. It's a bit of a big problem there. do as well is I will record the um, training videos I won't speak over it or anything like that and I'll just place it um, I'll replace it I'll put it on the same day as the Sonic Adventure uh, 2 playthrough uh, just so you've got something there but uh, some nice friendly uh, just some standard leveling up stuff like that. I might, you know, if I've got something to say I might speak in it, but um, oh, Razor Leaf, yes! Yes, we get an old move. Um, actually, we'll keep growth. We'll get rid of um, 
with draw for now. Why do we draw a water move? What, because of Squirtle or like going in the shell? Or just like general turtles? They go in the shell. I don't know. That's fine. So we will go and see if we can get out of here. I don't know if we get another encounter. We will. You know what, Geo dude? You can be the last encounter of the day. I respect it. I mean, I'm just going to absorb anyway. Ooh, look at that damage compared to the other one, eh? Sandstorm, uh-oh. Imagine using Sandstorm in a mine, everyone's going to be like, not be able to breathe, Geodude. Come on. You didn't really think that through, did you? Everyone's not going to be able to breathe, and everyone's going to be wearing masks. I mean, nowadays, I mean, everyone's got a mask on them anyway, so it's not too bad. But, um... Yeah, the wild Geodude had his energy drained, eh? I can't believe that. Buffed by the sandstorm, 1 HP lost. Beam in, I'll absorb and I'm going to get that back. And then the sandstorm's going to apparently just disappear as soon as the battle ends rather than uh, staying on. You did fainted, yes, yes, you did. See, we are level 9 now. So let's just go and wait outside. Let's go heal up quick. Go check the gym leader. I don't know if he's still outside or is he still inside. No, okay, so he's gone inside, so that's fine. So what we'll do is we'll heal up and we'll leave it in the Pokemon Center uh, for now. Because I feel like leaving it in the Pokemon Center is a good shout. Because then we can move into fingers. What I'll do is I'll go train in the bit of grass that's above the town. Say, I'll get that recorded. I'll just put it up. I'll just put a bit of music over it or something like that. Um, just so obviously you can see that I'm not, uh, you know, leveling them up in any illegitimate ways and anything like that. So, what I would do is, yeah, I'll leave it here. So what I do is I just save it. That is the wrong button. That is the right button there. So yeah, I'll save it for now. I say what we do is we'll come back in the next one, and then obviously we will go and face the gym leader. He will be our next target. Yeah. So obviously, if you the same as normal, if you do like the videos, please just say leave a like um, down below. And if you do want to continue the rest of the series and be notified when I upload, uh, hit that subscribe button. It is free, of course. You don't have to. Uh, it would be nice if you did. Obviously, as we can build a bit of a uh, more community together here around some of the games that are coming out at the minute. So, what I'll do is see you guys in the next video.